Yes, it's time for the word inspiration vibe. And today title I just titled it push. P U S H. Pray until something happens. Pray until something happens. I know people use it this thing, this push, push the, the slang so much on our socials. Push, push. You take it very lightly, but I'm here to, to encourage you and to tell you that you need to pray until something happens. You do not stop praying. You pray, you pray, you pray, you pray until something happens. That is, that is what the word of the Lord encourages us, to be persistent in prayer. You do not stop until you get the answer. You do not stop praying. Colossians uh, chapter 4, verse 2. I like what it says. Be persistent and devoted to prayer. Being alert and focused in your prayer life with an attitude of thanksgiving. So in your prayer, there should be a cocktail of thanksgiving in it. Lazima uongeza apoka thanksgiving. So you pray continuously. You keep on pushing. You keep on praying until you get the answer that you've been asking for. Until, you, until there is an open heaven. You pray until there is an open heaven. Because, you know, once you pray, God answers but it takes time before it reaches you. There's, uh, there's, there's, that, there's, there's a situation where you get an instant prayer, but there are other situations where the heavens close. So you need to pray until those heavens open, until you get an answer. You still continue praying, like what Anna did in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 9 to 18 there. Anna prayed persistently, fervent prayer. This is where you're just like, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. No. You pray. You fight in prayer. That's, that is why I'm here to encourage you that you need to fight in prayer. Una omba until something happens. Fervent prayer, persistent prayer. You continue praying. You pray today. You pray tomorrow. You pray the day after. You pray until your, heaven, your heavens open. You do not stop because and you're like you're taking a break from prayer. The enemy doesn't take a break with you. He does not. He's always there crafting 10 steps ahead. So you need to pray also because in, it is in the place of prayer that's where you get answers. It is in the place of prayer that's where you get revelation. It's the place of prayer where you get open heavens. It is in the place of prayer that you get wisdom. So you pray until something happens, until you can see there's a shift, there's a turn around. You have received your answers. You do not stop praying. You do not take a break. Yeah, you see high school, you take breaks. At a class, you take breaks. No. You push, you push your situation, you push your matter. You take it to the Lord. You pray continuously. Because Jesus in the book of Luke, Luke chapter, let us read Luke chapter 18, verse 1 to 8. Let me just read it very fast. Then Jesus told his disciple a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. Other version says the men ought always to pray and not to give up. He said in a certain town there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with a plea. Grant me the justice, grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he, he refused, but finally he said to himself, even though I do not fear God or care what people think yet, because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says, and will not God bring about justice to his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the son of man comes, he will find faith. Will he find faith on earth? Jesus is just encouraging us to be persistent, just like this widow who kept on going to this unjust, just, unjust judge. But our God is not unjust. Our God is very just. He's a faithful justice judge. So you continuously, persistently continue praying because once the answer is released, there's a way in the heavenly realms, you are even closed, you are even shut, the enemy kind of just hold on to your blessing. But I'm here to encourage you guys, do not give up praying, do not stop praying. You push until your matter has been sorted out, until your matter has been attended to, until your heavens open, until you receive your answer, until you get that wisdom. Let me tell you something, guys. 
it is in the place of prayer that I've received so many wisdom, so many wisdom. God has answered so many of my prayers in the place of prayer. I've never given up. I continue praying. I feel so heavy. I do not want to pray. But God will encourage me. Just talk to, to God. Talk to Jesus as your friend. You continue praying. You do not give up at no point. You know, it is in the place of prayer where you get answers, where you get wisdom, where you get revelation, boldness, just like Esther. Esther was never bold. As in when she was made queen, yes, she had favor, but she did not have any form of boldness to approach the, the king. Because approaching the king before he, he invites you, there's a way you get killed or something. Okay, so the book of Esther, you get all those. But I'm telling you, it is in the place of prayer. When Esther took the three-day fast, it gave, him the, it gave her the boldness to approach the king. So it is in the place of prayer that you get answer, revelation, wisdom, boldness, courage, confidence, all that. Yes? Push, pray until something happens. Persistent prayer. Do not give up. The enemy has not given up. The enemy is not on a break. So do not take any break. I'm at Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. So encouraged by the word. And uh, just getting uh, the word persistent mm -hmm. when you're praying. And it reminds me of the story of Paul and Silas in, uh, mm -hmm. in prison. Mm -hmm. You know, and people may, wa may even ask, uh, when you push, oh, okay, let's, you push. like you're push, <laughs> when you're push, that mm -hmm. is when you're praying until something happens. Kuna time in Afikanga, and you mentioned it about mm -hmm. when you're feeling so weak in spirit to mm -hmm. pray. Mm -hmm. But it's about time when you feel when you are, you are at your weak point, that's the powerful point mm -hmm. to pray. Sawa, mm -hmm. sawa. Yani pray persistently because the devil, anakuanga na agents, wake sa yinyuko weak. So at that time, you should continue praying and praying and don't stop. Persistent. Let me give you a secret. Ile time uko week mm. sana wezi pray. Yeah. Mi wanza tu kusema tu thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, yeah. thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, thank you, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. And in that motion, una pick up. Nona ni kama ile gari yeah, na skuma. Yeah. So una pick up. Now mm. you thank you Jesus, Heavenly Father. We thank you for this day. Oh mm. God, we bless your name. We honor you. And evil to evil, no we pick, we pick in the spirit. You generate mm. power and you become very powerful in prayer. So pray mm. until something happens. Do not stop. The enemy has not taken any break upon your life. Yeah. He's crafting, hey, so do not take any break. Now, I'm gonna force this Zake. Yes. So you need to back up your force mm -hmm. in prayer, in prayer, mm -hmm. so bravely and, of course, confidently, dependence on God, Kabisa, mm. yeah, and God will do. Yes. Will answer your prayers. Did you next? Mm. Our spin doctor. Yep. <laughs> Can you bless us with one song? Yes. Yes. Yeah. By As Alice, we digest the word. Yes. By Alice, command the song mm. is Wimbo Wangu.